Right, it's ten past six. I am packed and ready to go. Fastest pack ever. Didn't get a ticket to Alcatraz, the island, a very famous island. Uh, when I was co coming out here, sadly, you have to book. People are booking months in advance, uh, even looking for later on this week. There's a couple of um, shows or boats with eight tickets left and stuff like that. So, really, really hard to get a ticket when you want it. Uh, sadly, I couldn't get one for yesterday or today or Friday. So, um, But I know online that uh, if you go down early in the morning, they have uh, tickets that they release uh, for same day of sale. First come, first serve. Ticket office opens at half seven, hoping to get down there for half six and give it a, give it a go. Um, got the iPad with me, so I can do, <laughs> I'll do a little bit of work while I'm sitting in the queue. And uh, if it works brilliant, if not, then no big deal. bad in our queuing. Lucky I guess. Um, ticket door open at half seven. I'm boarding at 8 20. Happy days.
well, and work again on a prominent new cell house to replace the city house. And there, up in the prow, was the skipper. He looked like Earl Flip. We had to stay several hundred yards away. Of 1,200 inmates 
Robert Stroud attacked Officer Turner, stabbed him with a six-inch blade in the center of his chest. Officer Turner bled out 18 minutes later. That meant an automatic death sentence for Robert Stroud. In the silence of the lambs. And if you've seen that movie, of course you haven't forgotten the character of Hannibal Lecter. The inspiration for that fictional character is Robert Stroud. One of the opening scenes in that film is the first encounter between the FBI agent Jody Foster and uh, Hannibal Lecter, played by Anthony Hopkins. Hannibal Lecter is kind of toying with one of his cellmates, and that ends very badly for that man. It's the same thing with Stroud. I mean, he was all about manipulating people. <coughs> So, his first grandstand play when he arrives on Alcatraz, he convinces his cellmates to riot. So the plan is that they are going to move Stroud to the hospital, which is right over our heads. Robert Stroud is the only one who did his time in the prison hospital. That room in the hospital, he was never permitted to have contact, I mean never, with another inmate. This was all about breaking him psychologically. He's a pretty cherished individual. He's 91 years old. His name is George Devincenzi. He's a former Alcatraz correctional officer. And in spite of the fact that George knew full well that Stroud had murdered one of his colleagues, that didn't happen here on Alcatraz, but it's another group, he took pity on this guy. He said he was so starved for human interaction. So George told me that he would play checkers and chess with Stroud. Had George ever been caught doing that, it would have cost him his job. Never happened. Stroud is then transferred to a maximum security medical facility in Springfield, Missouri. By this stage of the game, uh, the movie about his life is uh, in the theaters. He was never permitted to watch the film because it depicted scenes of violence. After having spent 53 continuous years behind bars, longer than any other federal inmate up until that time. On November 21st, 1963, at the age of 72, Robert Stroud died peacefully in his sleep. It was the day before President John F. Kennedy was shot and killed in Dallas. So the news of Stroud's passing, in spite of his international notoriety, uh, didn't even merit a footnote in the newspapers of the day to the true story. Thanks for coming. Enjoy your day. So just finished the tour here on uh, Alcatraz Island. Uh, got well, there's a ferry coming in now. In the background, I had more people to drop off, and I'm going to get back into San Francisco. Um, I can understand why it's one of the most popular for tours to do in San Francisco and on TripAdvisor. Uh, excellent uh, experience, really, really good. Um, great tour guides. Um, you do an audio tour as well, uh, which is really informative. The history here is uh, amazing. You know, learning about all the, the, the criminals that we've seen immortalized in the Hollywood movies. Uh, just a few things I would try to remember for the future is that. Uh, there's only two toilets, there's 300 toilets to say, but only two working <laughs> on the island. So one at uh, where you get off the, the ferry and one at the very top. So one to watch. Um, you're not allowed any food or drink. Um, you're not allowed to eat or drink as you go around. Uh, there is a designated area just at the start of the tour where you can get uh, a drink. And on the boat uh, they sell food and drink as well. Uh, but it's really only a few minutes back into the, the city, like maybe oh, well, 10 minutes maybe. Um, a bit of walking, but they do have a wee, like a tram that brings people to the very top if they have problems uh, getting around. Uh, obviously the tour itself, there's steps up and down to explore it all. It's good if you are able to get around. Uh, it says in the, the guidebook two and a half hours. Uh, as I say, I was three and a half, but really took my time, uh, enjoyed it. Uh, listened to one of the talks. And by one of the guides as well in the in the dining room, so definitely recommended. Look forward to coming back again in a couple of years and uh, going through it again with the with the family.